right, this is a different style of content for myself. Um, I don't typically do these type of things because most of my stuff is just all GoPro content, no behind the scenes type look, but I got this new camera. Need to start to find ways to use it. So I thought what better way to do things than show you what goes into my Sunday league soccer bag before going into games. I posted something similar like this on TikTok, but never gave some breakdowns and obviously some things have changed uh, since the injury. So I wanna show you guys this, make sure to subscribe and like the channel and let's get into it. This I do not enjoy. There we go. Let's try this. All right. So first off, let's get started with the money maker. Uh, the way I'm able to make all my videos and what I use. By the way, links to all the stuff that you guys are gonna see, apart from the jerseys, will be in the description below. So let's start off with the combo. Like I said, that makes the magic happen. We got a GoPro Hero 11 Black. Uh, this is immediately something as soon as I started playing goalie, I wanted to purchase. I went out there uh, and immediately did so just so I could start recording my content. I did have to do a lot of workarounds. You guys notice I do not even have a battery in this. And there's a specific reason for that. I do have a video on the channel if you want to check out for that reason. But and then this kind of feeds into it is that I have a power bank NIIU power supply. It's not too expensive out there on Amazon. This is actually what powers my GoPro. For indoor, don't really need this because cooled environment. So this probably won't overheat. But this is the main issue I have this because GoPros tend to overheat uh, when you have the battery in there, even if you open it up. So this is why I have this set up. Little tripod is the Ulanzi, I think is the way that you pronounce it. Uh, this thing is good. It's not very durable though. This does get hit by a ball. It is more than likely going to break, which is why I have an extra two of them because on BH Photo, these are very cheap. They're like $15 each. So I have an extra supply and extra tripods too. All right, next up, let's go with the kit. So uh, my team in the, in the leagues that I play in, you can either go get your own jerseys or you can just order, you know, some knockoff professional jerseys, whatever you want it to be. I actually went to the AC Milan store and ordered this goalkeeper kit because I, I absolutely love the colorway of it. So I have the AC Milan all orange goalkeeper kit with Dirk on the back because that is my broadcasting list. And that's how a lot of you guys know me as. Along with that, I do have the shorts that go along with it. I wasn't messing around when I said that. Also, I do have the socks for the full goalkeeper kit and I have cut them. I, I used to think this was the dumbest thing in the world. I was like, what is the point? Like the grip socks really make that much of a difference. Having all these injuries that I have, um, it definitely makes a difference. So I went ahead and cut both the Puma socks that ended up coming with the full goalkeeper kit. And I actually ordered, I have three different pairs of these. Um, I have the all white ones, I have black pair, and then I have an orange pair just to kind of go with the whole flow of the sock. And I just kind of alternate, honestly, depending on what I want to do. Uh, but I love these. These really are game changing. Um, I didn't think it was going to make that much of a difference, but after being as injury prone as I have, started to be an indoor. Thank you to the phenomenal turf fields. I have to wear this. Speaking of injuries, I now have to wear the these on both of my ankles. Uh, these are some ankle braces that I was recommended actually by a friend to go check out on Amazon. It's by Free. These work phenomenal. Uh, just your classic strap, get it up nice and tight, try to make it so my ankles won't roll. So my combination of what I wear is I wear just a, a normal pair of ankle socks. I put these over top of it. I put the grip socks over top of these and that's kind of my setup. It's not ideal. I definitely feel a little bit clunky while wearing them, but I, I kind of have to. I'm, I might test the waters when the outdoor rolls around just to see if I can get away without wearing ankle braces. Just because the surface is going to be different but for now i will not take these off ever okay next items that go in the bag um i am i don't know why i got given this i'm the captain of my indoor team i think it's because i'm like the oldest person on the team probably i'm 29 years old a lot of guys in the early 20s some even like 18 years old so get to rep this which is always fun because i pride myself on being a leader uh, and especially the communication i have in the back of the net too so always cool to have that honor and then and of course being a goalkeeper uh the gloves are everything to us and I am a prime focus goalkeeper partner. They are nice enough to send me one free pair every single month. Uh, so this is a pair of the Locust. Got the white and the pink colorway. And then I have my Aquas as well in the bag. Uh, I've been rocking these a lot more than these just because I, I've only just got these this past month. Uh, but I love the gloves. Uh, no link to these in the description, but you, I'll make sure to put the prime focus website down below. If you use Dirk JDR 15, you will get 15% off of your order. And yeah, the only thing I have to say about this, the grip is insane. Uh, I like the fit too, but I feel like for a lot of goalkeepers, just go based off the grip because that's what we really need when we're making saves so oh cheap too okay next up um i always carry my arsenal goalkeeper kit um i'm not really too sure why i maybe just have it as a backup just in case what if we play the team that's orange and i would have to change instead of putting a penny on so i always carry my arsenal goalkeeper kit that i had ordered quite some time back and then i will actually change my shorts and my socks depending on if i do wear this just because I, I i like to look the part i feel like go playing goalkeeper is a little bit of playing dress up i'm gonna look like the pros i want to be david Raya. next up in my old 
old Predator bag. I have my new turf indoor shoes that my lovely girlfriend had gotten me for Christmas. Uh, I made the switch from wearing my traditional cleats to the turf shoes because of my injuries. Um, I didn't think it was really gonna be that much of an issue wearing actual cleats, but playing surface not being too ideal. I uh, love the turf shoes. These are a little tight. I probably should have gotten like a, maybe like a half size up from it, but overall uh, it, it does the job and that's all I can really ask. But it took a little bit to break in, but yeah. And of course the shin guards. Um, I wear normal shin guards. Well, actually I don't know if these are considered normal anymore. Not those little like tiny ones that are this big, but I always rock my Nike shin guards. Had these for, oh man, I probably had these since past like 10 years. It's gotta be somewhere around there. And your bag cannot be complete without a ball. Uh, it's actually given to me by my mom for Christmas. It's a official Champions League match day ball, which I love. Uh, I have another one of those I had bought over the summer, the Women's Champions League ball. So I always keep this with me just in case we need a game ball. This is definitely the best option for it. And sometimes people don't even select this and they want to use some crappy little Walmart ball. And it never makes any sense. Let's add this on to my list of other injuries. I have a knee strap. And the reason I have a knee strap is because I have had some knee injuries before. So I keep this in my bag just in case I ever feel my knee's not up to par or, you know, it's a little sore just to be safe with it. Um, this is really uncomfortable. I, I do not like wearing it. And last but not least, I'm looking around my room right now, just wondering, like, did I forget anything? Um, I bought these brand new shoes for when actually outdoor starts in a couple months. So I have yet to even wear them. I caught them when they were on sale on soccer.com. Yeah, I, I don't know what the name of them is. It's the Adidas Predators, but I just love the colorway of the black, the green. I think usually these retail for about 300 or 280. I ended up scooping them up for, I think, 185 when they dropped on sale because obviously the launch of the new Predators. Very excited to try these out. I'm definitely a laceless guy, which is why it's kind of weird even wearing the turf shoes for me at times as well. Super pumped and super excited to wear these. I'm just hoping that the Adidas Predators, the retros that are coming out, I'm hoping they do not release that lime green and black colorway because these will not see the light of day and I will be ordering those. So that's everything I have in my soccer bag. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, it could be about the products. It could be about, you know, where I play, what I do, all all those other things as well so make sure again subscribe to the channel like this video and we got a game coming up actually what today's sunday i got a game coming up in about five hours so i'll have a video up on the channel coming later on this week about all those results so i'll see you then